enthusiasts welcome to the first video of our channel today we have got something exciting lined up for you we are diving deep into the world of electronics and exploring the power of i2c protocol you won't want to miss it so make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get started i2c protocol i2c stands for inter integrated circuit it is a bus interface connection protocol incorporated into devices for serial communication. It is also known as two wired interface. It uses only two bi-directional open drain lines for data communications called SDA and SCL. SDA transfer of data takes here. SCL it gives the clock signal. It operates in two modes, master mode and slave mode. Moving on. Okay, now let me introduce you to the star of our project. We have got the versatile DHT sensor. We can measure the temperature and humidity using this. And Arduino microcontroller. We have got Arduino Uno board here. And I2C module with the, the PCF8574 chip. We are using this LCD to the purpose of it very soon. So together they are going to create something really really cool. So wait for it. Okay. First things first, let's uh, get the wiring started. We connect the hardware. So we have the DST11 sensor. We are going to connect it with Arduino. So we have the S pin. We will need this female to male. Uh, wires to connect it. We'll connect the S pin to the second pin of Arduino that is here you see then we will take another wire and connect the voltage pin that is V pin to the 5 volt pin of Arduino. Here it is the 5 volt. We connect it now using another wire we are going to connect the ground pin to the ground pin of the arduino here goes to the ground okay after that this is connected now it's time for connecting this i2c module so First of all, we will link SDA and SCL to their respective pins. So the ground pin is at the top. We take the ground, we connect the ground pin of I2C module to the ground pin of Arduino. Then we take another wire. We have the VCC pin of I2C. We connect it to the another 5 volt pin of Arduino that is over here and second last is the SDA pin which I showed you in the diagram as well SDA pin will go to the A4 pin over here and lastly the clock Pin, that is SCL we will go to the A5 pin for the clock signal giving it to Arduino okay so here is this cable we are going to connect it over here and then later connect it to the, our PC or laptop to upload the code okay moving on okay so we are about to connect or upload the code to our system our hardware so for that we are going to need arduino ide so to install arduino ide we go to browser we write this arduino ide download and then we click on download and install arduino ide and after that we come and click on download the latest release and you will get it installed so i already have it on my system so i'm not going to go in the installation you can install it by yourself and then we will directly go to uh, explain the code once i explain the code then i will explain it more further about the libraries and how to connect it and get it working 
so here we have arduino ide open and now i'm going to explain you the code so uh, over here you as you can see this uh, these lines these lines include the necessary libraries wire.h and liquid crystal i2c.h which are used for like liquid crystal i2c.h is used for interfacing with the lcd display and dht.h is the library for the dht sensors in our case dht11 sensor this line this line creates an instance of the liquid crystal underscore i2c class called lcd it initializes the lcd display with the i2c address 0x27 16 characters per row and two rows so over here uh, these uh, lines defines constants DST pin, the digital pin where the DST sensor is connected, in our case the second pin, and then DST type, the type of DST sensor, in our case it is DST11. So DHT, uh, this line creates an instance for the of the DHT class called DHT using the defined DST pin and DST type from here above. So uh, the setup function is called once at the beginning and serial dot begin 9600 initializes serial communication at a baud rate of 9600. LCD dot init initializes the LCD display. LCD dot backlight turns on the backlight of the LCD. DHT dot begin initializes communication with the DHT11 sensor. Okay, moving on. The loop function is where the main code execution happens and it runs repeatedly. These lines read humidity, temperature in Celsius and temperature in Fahrenheit from the DST11 sensor. <clears throat> Moving on, this block, this block checks if any of the sensor reading is not a valid number due to any miscommunication maybe. If any re uh, reading is invalid, it prints an error message and exits the loop. So moving on. We have uh, this float HIF, float HIC. These lines compute the heat index, HIF and HIC using the DST sensors data and formulas. Moving on, we have this serial dot print block. These lines print the sensor readings and calculated heat index values to the serial monitor. Moving on, we have <clears throat> Moving on, we have uh, lcd.set cursor, lcd.print. These lines set the LCD cursor position and display the sensor readings and labels on the LCD display. Moving on, we have uh, delay.2000lcd.clear. So delay 2000 pauses the loop for 2000 milliseconds. That is two seconds. lcd.clear clears the LCD display to prepare for the next set of readings. So that's all for the uh, code explanation we can download the these three libraries i will mention them in the video description you can download it and then add it through sketch include library and then clicking on include dot zip library and from there you can select the three libraries adafruit dst and liquid crystal libraries and then uh, for moving on we are going to show you how to upload the code on the system we are going to connect it to the pc and we connect it here And now, as you can see, here, we got our LCD lit up. Now it's time to upload the code. We can come here, we can choose our board. It's, in our case, it is Arduino Uno. We can click on Arduino Uno and select the port, what port we are connecting the system to and click on OK. Now it's time to upload the code. Click on upload. Now it's compiling the sketch over here as you can see. Now uploading. Here, uploading, 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 and then uploading. Right? Everything is ready. Now, so code is done uploading. Now we can see over here, yay see we can see the temperature and humidity captured from this sensor and therefore our project is ready so there you have it an exploration of the i2c protocol and an amazing project that brings it to life from optimizing pin uses to creating practical application the i2c protocol is a game changer in the electronics world 
if you are as thrilled as I am about the power of I2C protocol and the endless possibilities it offers, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your all tech savvy friends. And of course, hit that subscribe button so that you stay updated with more excited tech adventures. Until the next time, keep experimenting, keep innovating. See you in the next video.